Hello, my name is Sandy Graves. Uh, I'm the owner of Seahead Portable Composting Toilets. Um, here I want to demonstrate uh, the use of the ventilation hood adapter, as we call it. That would be this piece of equipment right here that comes with the toilet. Um, this is designed to fit into the disposable container that the waste will be disposed in. Um, these containers, you can get them at any uh, home uh, improvement facility, any large uh, home improvement facility. Uh, you can get a lid to go with it, uh, both for usually less than five dollars even including tax. Uh, as far as the lids go, you want to be sure that you get the locking type lid. The locking type lid has this wider edge and uh, it is designed so that once it's hammered into place it cannot be removed without going around and cutting all of these points. The standard snap-on lid is a good utility lid, but you don't want to dispose of the waste using one of these. You want to use one that's very difficult to get into. Okay, the uh, ventilation hood adapter fits directly inside the top of uh, a standard five-gallon bucket. It has these lock-on tabs on either side that you can use to secure it in place. Okay and uh, it has a port on either side, the hood does, which allows the hood to be ventilated if you want to. Um, this uh, unit works very well for containing any odor that the waste would produce. Uh, I've never ventilated one of mine. The, the best reason to ventilate one is that it reduces the amount of condensation that builds up on the inside. Uh, what will happen if you don't ventilate it is you will get condensation on the underside of the lid here. Uh, that can be a little bit of a mess, but it doesn't really pose much of a problem other than that. You will get some uh, uh, musty odor when you take the lid off. If you look inside, you'll see the two vent ports. They're screened. They're on, on either side. They're screened to prevent insects from getting inside. Uh, it uses a dual uh, opening to, because the screen will restrict the airflow to some extent, so you need a larger uh, surface to get good ventilation. You fill up the uh, disposable bucket to just above the bottom of this line right here, which is the bottom of the hood. At that point, you're ready to uh, take the hood out. Put the lid back in. You want to remove the hood by lifting out either side. Put it into another bucket. Take your locking lid, hammer it home and then you can discard this. Now, prior to sealing it off you may want to treat the waste with either uh, uh, liquid bleach, liquid Clorox, or else hydrogen peroxide or with uh, laundry detergent. You, you can use laundry detergent in the sea head toilet itself uh, on a regular basis. Now if you do want to ventilate the hood using one of these ports. You run your hose to the port and you will have two of these elbows that come with the package. They fit right into the port. You can angle them any direction you need to run the hose. You can also run the hose straight out. Simply remove this short section of pipe from the elbow and insert it in the adapter. And then your hose can go into here. You can vent this exactly the same way you would vent to the toilet, having a section of hose that runs from the toilet to the intake, then a hose from the output up to your ventilation fans. That pretty much concludes the description of the vent hood adapter.